As the sun came up on another beautiful day in Indian Wells, the crowds heading to the BNP Paribas Open had a treat in store, as the last two semi-finalists would be decided. Frenchman Richard Gasquet was out early to warm up for the day's first quarter-final, but he would have his work cut out if he was to end Novak Djokovic's unbeaten start to the season. The 24-year-old Frenchman got off to the perfect start and soon found himself a two-love up. But the Australian Open champion remained calm and quickly hit back to level things up with a deft touch. Nice shot. Having lost six games in a row to give the opening set to Djokovic, Gasquet regained his composure and took an early lead in the second set, forcing the third seed to produce his best tennis. There's a winner. Oh, that small lot kick. Yeah. Great set of wheels from Djokovic to get the break back. Gasquet continued to apply the pressure as he sought a way back into the match. But Djokovic just soaked it up and bided his time before unleashing a string of powerful winners. And after just over an hour and a half on court, Djokovic yeah, confirmed yeah, his yeah, place yeah. in the semi-finals with a 6-2-6-4 victory. It is always uh, satisfying, and especially at this stage of the tournament, to spend uh, as less time as possible, you know, because now you know, the matches are, are getting tougher. And the uh, next one is Feder of Avrinka. Uh, both of them very, very good players. and. Uh, yeah, let's see, you know, I'm going to be physically uh, prepared and mentally fresh for that one. The last of the quarterfinals was an all-Swiss affair between Roger Federer and Stanislas Wawrinka. These two paired up to win the Olympic gold medal in 2008 and will be in action in the double semi-final later in the day. But for now, they had to put friendship aside with a place in the semi-final at stake. Once out on court, Federer came racing out of the blocks, opening up an early lead with a great variety of shots. Beautiful shot. We saw him use it so effectively against Juan Ignacio Cella. Vavrinka did not let his head drop though and started to work the angles in an effort to level the match. Oh! You don't know how difficult that last shot was and he made it look so easy. But try as he might, he could not find a way past the three time former champion as Federer closed in on the opening set. That's what Federer does better than anyone else. Just never gets old watching him hit a tennis ball. Vavrinka stuck with his good friend early in the second set, but in the fifth game, the world number two upped the pace to seize control of the match. Oh, beats up for pace. And Federer gets the break to take control of this match. with an exclamation point. Well, that was easy. Roger Federer rides one break a set and beats back his good friend and doubles partner, Stanislas Fabrika. So we've set up a semi-final showdown between Federer and Djokovic for the world number two ranking.
Look, I think every match we do play against each other, there is, I don't want to say this, everything, every time something on the line, but it's always an important match against a fellow top five player. And uh, you just want to go out there and do well. And I haven't done really well against the last two times, but before that, I've, I think I've beat him four times in a row. So I hope I can turn the tide again. So the BNP Paribas Open is down to the final four and set for a super Saturday as Rafael Nadal takes on a resurgent Juan Martín Del Potro. And Novak Djokovic faces Roger Federer with the world number two spot on the line. Don't miss any of the action right here on TennisTV.com.